Now, there's always something going on in the royal household. And on the menu, well, some exciting stuff. Royal biographer Angela Levin will reveal all. Angela. Yes. Well, what I feel very, very concerned about is Prince Harry's comment in his um, court case against um, him actually taking protection from the um, Home Office. And the reason I feel that is because he's actually talking nonsense because he's saying I, they were forced out, he and Meghan were forced out, which they won't. They weren't at all. They, they wanted to leave. and They did so very quickly. How much London is his home and he wants his children to be here to be relaxed, but they can't be unless they get top protection. And I thought to myself, if he starts doing that, it's because everything else has failed. He wants to come back. He wants to be a member of the royal family again. But my goodness, he's a very changed Harry. Mm. And he's going to do what he wants. And the fact that he has no respect for his father, no respect for his brother, I think he's going to be a big danger because he will go into competition, my belief, will go into competition with the royal family themselves and either hear what they're doing and do something first, as he had done with other things. And um, I think they've really got to take that very, very carefully, what happens. And if he gets the top um, protection, which I don't think he deserves because it's police with guns who know everything that's going on, um, he can get a second grade one with no trouble at all. But if he wants that, he takes them off street for people like you and me and they will have to have four of them um, which three times a day they change mm. and so I think it's really very dangerous so I hope that the decision that's made is that he can have very good protection but he can't have it with police who've got guns. Well that's what it was anyway so he he has protection he just doesn't get the Ravik isn't it? The, 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 no, when he's, when so he's he still here and doing something protection. with the royals mm. He gets that top protection. Yeah. But when he's here going around and talking about how awful the royals are or wanting to see his friends, then he gets grade one where they're very good. Often they've been police protection. They've mm. retired from it. Um, and they, they will be protected, but not the very top one. He's going one yeah. court case after another. There's five waiting for well, him. Well, the way he talks is as though he's getting no protection at all. That's how it comes yes, across, but that's, that's not the case. No, that's not no. the case. And I hope the judge, I'm sure the judge will actually see that that's not a very good idea. He has lost the case, of course, with the male um, because he said that they were intruding his life because they mentioned that he was trying to keep it secret that he uh, was talking to the Home Office and complaining about the protection. And the judge said, well, they've got a right to do that. And I think that's a word saying, look, mate, don't try and do this uh, as a court case. But Harry wanted him to make a decision himself. He's refused to do that and it's now going to court. Mm -hmm. It'll be back and forth. And that's what his life is, and I think it's incredibly sad. They've got nothing else to do, have they? No, they haven't. <laughs> they haven't. Whereas if you look at Catherine, I mean, the, the, what we saw of the concert last night, um, how beautiful she looked, how gorgeous the children were. She must be going through a very difficult mm -hmm. time when she's so heavily criticised, as does William. And, well, um, if you've been outed for being a racist or unconscious bias, which I'm not sure, you know, that's not great, is it? No, it's awful. And so that's very difficult. So she's, they're wearing it very well. But I think for the king to have a son, or anybody actually, to have a son who's behaving like that and been very rude about Camilla. And the first um, course that um, that uh, Omid Scobie sent over to Holland had vile things about Camilla and her underwear. And you, you don't, do you, how do you know that? I do know that. Is it? And lots of nasty things about William. Um, and so this was the first just, copy that this was... This is the first copy that right. was sent to Holland. So, yeah. And so it was a way of getting that mm. done, I think, rather than actually um, uh, not. And the owner of that um, publishing house has said that his facts are absolutely wrong. So we see that, um, you know, 
That man mm. is really unpleasant. Well, br briefly as well, Angela, I saw you on, um, was it Jacob's show, talking about whether they should get their titles stripped. You don't think they should? No, I don't think they should no, because really? I think it's it's too You've changed your mind. No, I haven't. I've never said I, I should. I thought we said that we would, would work on trying to get the MPs to... No, because actually if you do that, you can't stop Harry being called Prince Harry and Meghan will then be called Prince Henry because actually, that's how it is. But actually taking them from the line of succession, that should be able to happen, shouldn't it? But that is a thing that the, the government has to do. Well, that's And right. I think it will be very difficult for him to do that. I think they want to save it with Harry and they don't really want to push it any further because he might not be very well when it all goes really wrong. Mm, OK, well, Angela Levin, thank you so much. Angela Levin, royal biographer. We'll